everyone that I've been coming across has been having a problem with the wheel routes, and that's wheels as in the gamer platforms. Uh, people are complaining about how the quarterback, it can be the most accurate quarterback in the game. And all he'll do is just throw like he's a 69, like he's a 69 overall quarterback. Now, the reason being, you know, the reason that's happening is because you guys aren't timing it right. Now, I know a lot of you are not used to the timing, um, which is understandable because the past Maddens, like Madden 25, Madden 13, you don't have to time it. You don't have to do anything. You just bullet him the ball or pass lead. It's fine. He's going to go after it each and every time. But with this Madden, it's kind of like it's it's so much more about timing because if you don't time it, all he's going to do is overthrow the ball, and that's just going to become really frustrating throughout the game, especially if that's like the last read and he overthrows it. Now, in order to stop something like that with any quarterback is you want to throw it right before his button lights up. Now, you can also use a two-second rule in which – you count the two seconds as soon as you hike the ball. And at that two seconds, it'll, um, basically, the two seconds will end right before his button lights up. So that'll let you know, okay, now's the time to throw it to him. Now, when you're using that two second rule, um, you don't want to throw it to him automatically unless you know there's no one over there, unless you know that you have no other reads downfield. Now, what I would do is, as soon as I hike the ball, I look for my other reads in two seconds. I see what's open and I see what's not open. After that two seconds is up, I can already know if someone's in the backfield or if someone's going out to the running back or the tight end and not throw it to them. But when you know that someone's in the backfield, when you know someone's going after the running back and the tight end, all you got to do is just wait. Wait till they start actually running downfield and just pass lead or just bullet them the ball. Simple as that. You can't do it like before. You actually do have to time it. I suggest getting in the lab so you can get the two seconds down so you can get the timing down on it. Uh, there's no pass lead on it, none of that. Um, it's. I get the issue with the nomadic community. I've seen tournaments complain about it over and over and over again. And this is the only solution that I can come up with. It's just, I mean, even if you don't want to do the two seconds, all you got to do is just know to throw it before his button lights up. That's it. If you do that and you know that there's no one in the backfield, just, just throw him the ball if there's nothing else open. But if there is something else open and you just go through your reads as normal. But if that wheel route isn't open, you just wait. You just wait until he runs downfield, as I said. Just wait until he runs downfield and start to pass him the ball. It's not something that's going to work for you overnight. I don't know why I did that. It's not something that's going to work for you overnight. Uh, the timing you have to get down, or if you don't get it down, all he's going to do is continue to overthrow the ball over and over and over again. And all it's going to do is frustrate you. So I hope this guy's I, – I hope this guy's – I only had like three hours of sleep. I was trying to get videos for you like all day. Uh, I hope this video helped you out. Um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. As I said, get in the lab. Try to get this timing down because it is very important when it comes to these wheel routes. Uh, I'm out.